In this third example, we're going to look at the effect of an IV bolus of a high dose of epinephrine in the presence of an IV infusion of phentolamine. Epinephrine is an agonist of alpha-1, alpha-2, beta-1, and beta-2 adrenoceptors. It has a greater affinity for beta than alpha receptors, but at the dose that we're using, we're going to see effects on both types of receptors. Phentolamine, on the other hand, is an antagonist of alpha-1 and alpha-2 receptors. So we're going to begin by drawing the diastolic blood pressure, the systolic pressure, the mean arterial pressure, and we'll also monitor the heart rate. Remember, during this infusion of epinephrine, we have phentolamine on board already, and so our alpha-1 and alpha-2 receptors are going to be blocked. So phentolamine blocks the alpha-1 and alpha-2 receptors, leaving only the beta-1 and beta-2 receptors open to be acted upon by epinephrine. We're going to administer epinephrine at the blue arrow, and we'll see the effect of epinephrine on the beta-2 receptors. This is going to cause the expected decrease in diastolic pressure due to vasodilation. We'll also see the effect of epinephrine on the beta-1 receptors, and this will cause the increase in systolic pressure due to stimulation of heart rate and contractility, leading to an increase in cardiac output. The increase in systolic pressure may not be as great as you would expect because systolic pressure does piggyback on top of diastolic pressure and our diastolic pressure has decreased due to the beta-2 mediated vasodilation. So we may not see such a large peak. We may not even see much of any peak at all. But in any case, what we're always going to see is an increase in pulse pressure and this indicates a beta-1 mediated increase in contractility. Now we also see changes in our mean arterial pressure. It is going to diminish during this time period. And because the mean arterial pressure decreases, we're going to see a reflex increase in sympathetic activity. Now because our alpha receptors are blocked, the sympathetic activity can only act upon the beta-1 and beta-2 adrenoceptors because they're the only ones that are open. So we only see an effect on the heart rate, like so. We may also see some additional vasodilation. Now, if we think about what this curve looks like, we have our beta receptors open our alpha receptors are blocked. This really sort of looks like what happens in the presence of a non-selective beta agonist. And so that drug would be isoproteranol. So the bottom line is that the effect of isoproteranol looks a lot like the effect of epinephrine when phentolamine is already present in the system.